Cucumbers are delicious and are very flexible kind of vegetable. You can eat it raw, steam it, or even refrigerate it and use it for beauty purposes. Today we are going to talk about identifying the possible diseases that may strike your cucumber so that you can easily remedy it before further damage is done. Before we begin, let us get to know what makes this vegetable one of a kind. The property of cucumber to lower body temperature, as in the expression cool as a cucumber, is where the expression comes from. Cucumbers are often used as part of beauty routines because they have a calming effect on the skin. Cucumbers have several vitamins such as A, B, B2, B6, and C, and minerals like calcium, iron, magnesium. Everybody should take a vitamin. Do you find that your bathroom mirror fogs up during the day? To clean your mirror, try wiping it with a cucumber slice. It will clear the air and make it smell like a resort. Do you strive to consume the recommended amount of water each day? Cucumbers are a good snack. They contain 95% water by weight. Cucumbers eaten as a snack can also help stave off hunger. Do you want a sparkling clean bathroom without the use of dangerous chemicals? Stop searching. If you want to restore the shine and cleanliness of your home or bathroom, wipe them down with a cucumber slice. Now that we know the different wonder uses of cucumber, let's get to the different diseases that might strike your cucumber. That way you'll be able to identify and quickly take action before the problem worsens. Whether tending to them outdoors or in a greenhouse, learning how to grow cucumbers is pretty straightforward. Like most plants, they can be susceptible to certain insects and other ailments, sometimes to the point of making them totally inedible. Sometimes, these problems lead to the plants producing no cucumbers at all. We've rounded up the most common issues of cucumbers. Number one is powdery mild tube. It is a fungal cucumber disease. It can be a problem for many other plants, including roses and courgettes. You can identify it by the white markings that will develop across the foliage. As it develops, it can affect plants' vigor and distort the leaves, causing them to turn yellow and die. One of the main causes is humidity and heat, so be sure to space your plants out to encourage airflow. Drought can also increase the risk of it developing, so ensure you keep watering plants during dry periods. Cut away affected parts of the plant as soon as you spot them for disposal. The second one is Cucumber Mosaic Virus. The 
This disease is quite easy to spot as it creates a distinctive yellow mosaic-like pattern on the foliage. The plants may stop flowering and any cucumbers formed will be hard, small, and inedible. As RHS, as RHS explains, As RHS explains, as RHS explains, this problem is spread around plants by aphids, so tackling them can reduce the risk. Our guide on how to get rid of aphids is full of useful tips to try. Unfortunately, there is no known cure for cucumber mosaic virus. If you do see this disease on your cucumbers, destroy the infected plant. The RHS advises washing your hands afterward before touching other plants, otherwise you risk contaminating your healthy crops. The third one is red spider mite. Alternatively, you could use another insecticide, but just ensure it is safe to use in edible crops and to follow the application instructions carefully. The fourth one is white fly. It is suggested that SB plant invigorator be sprayed at the first signs of infestation. They are commonly found in greenhouses as they like the warm conditions and can first appear in early spring. Red spider mites are tiny sap-sucking insects that give the foliage a mottled appearance. White fly White flies are a common pests that can be a nuisance in the warm greenhouse and to all sorts of crops, including tomatoes and peppers. For a natural approach, try introducing the parasitoid wasps in Carcia formosa to your greenhouse. As the RHS says, it's crucial to do so before an infestation becomes severe as the effect won't be immediate. The fifth one is angular leaf spot. Angular leaf spot is a bacterial disease that affects all of the gourd family including squashes and melons. Look for cucumber varieties that have resistance to this disease and avoid watering your plants directly from above. Copper fungicides may also help to stop the disease from spreading.